everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, where we're jumping into another Eve greed run. I think that maybe if we just get used to Eve, maybe we'll do better. Mr. Dolly is great. Oh. Of course, thank you. Oh my goodness, so much protection of our red hearts so early on. That means we'll need to deal with the devil to get into the Horror of Babylon state, but that's fine. If we can keep the protection of our red heart, then everything is good. Of course. It's never good, but we can just leave, so we're gonna do that. Alright, so another another greed mode run. Um, you know, I go through phases with how I like my Isaac. Do I like it regular? Do I like it greed mode? Um, and right now we're on a greed mode kick. Greed mode is fun. I like just how many items you can get. I like how it explores uh, new stuff that you can do. Like, you, because you can get so many more items in greed mode. That I just kind of really enjoy how I can discover how items work together. In ways that I necessarily can't in a regular run. Or at least I don't necessarily have the ability to in a regular run. Alright. We don't even have, like, a damage upgrade. It's just the tears upgrade from Mr. Dolly right now that's really helping us out. Oh gosh. And then there were a lot of them. Okay, just don't get hit. You're better than that. Okay. We were not better than that spider, apparently. Go, dead bird. I really don't mind getting hit once to get dead bird out here and helping, because, I mean, dead bird really does help. There are just so many. I do wish we had a jar of flies, which we got right before we died on our last episode. Why? It's just so good for greed mode. <laughs> And also, like, some items are better in greed mode. It's another reason that greed mode's kind of cool to play. Because it's like, oh, you know, like, um, Lilith is better for greed mode, in my personal opinion. Because a box of friends being usable lots of times on a single room. So you can double your familiars a lot. Okay, that was dumb damage, and I shouldn't have taken it. Okay, where did you... Okay then, you little buhole. So we've got like a little node down there that we need to not forget about. Because he'll be annoying. Let's see if we can like sick dead bird on him. Okay, we're pretty much out of time. And then we're pretty much done, so that's good. Okay, we've got dark champion girdlings. Okay, they killed themselves. Wonderful. Now, we've kind of lost some of our protection, but we're going for this. Why? Because we still got Dead Bird out. And, okay, Lust moves very, very quickly, but he doesn't have nearly as much HP as the other guy, so if we can just hit him a few times, yeah, then he's gone. And now we get to focus on this guy. Now, we should probably be focusing on his more annoying little tail friend. Because he's the more annoying one, but Dead Bird is choosing to focus on the main guy. So he's going to die soon, and then this guy's going to go ballistic. But go, Dead Bird. Dead Bird can keep up with him. Sort of. Dead Bird's helping us out here a lot. Alright. Good deal. Okay, then. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. What we got in here? Got a key. Do we want mini mush? I'm not really sure that we do. Tears up and knock back shut. Never bad thing. We should probably get rid of the fires. Just in case. You never know what they'll give you. Like that. A coin. Very, very useful in greed mode. Alright. We're actually going to leave, because I'm not in love with any of the items in the shop. Some of them could have maybe helped us out. Okay, we got Curse of the Unknown, which I don't super like. Okay. We got some obvious plays here. Namely, Daddy Long Legs, and then BFF. Um, the Ankh. 
it's a range upgrade. I won't complain about a range upgrade. So, yes, BFF is going to be our next play because we've got Dead Bird, we've got Daddy Long Legs, and I mean, BFF just makes them stronger. Oh, Daddy Long Legs, you're just so strong. You want to come help with this guy? Apparently, not quickly enough. He was like, yes, I want to help, but not, not before you get hurt. Alright, I like our knockback shot. I just need to remember that we have it. Uh, it does change our, uh, our aiming tactics a little bit. Wow, these guys are taking a long time. We don't necessarily have the damage that we need. Knockback is great on these guys. Why? Because you can just kind of keep them not moving very much. You turn them around. And... Okay, then. I would love Spectral Tears, personally, if anybody wants to give me Spectral Tears. They're not, I you know, necessary. I would take damage up before Spectral Tears, but I will take Spectral Tears if I'm offered it. Okay. Dang it. So we have enough for BFF, but we're gonna do that, apparently. I mean, yes, it gets this out of the way very quickly. Got that first wave out of the way, but, like, I, I didn't ask for that. Now, I believe we still have at least a spirit heart. I think not entirely sure. Knockback shot on this guy, very, very good, because we can get up here, and he can, like, he tries to charge us, and it doesn't work. Alright, deal with the devil time. Now, I think we only have one heart, so it's... No, 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 we have two, because we didn't get a deal last time. We got, we got black hearts, which is fine. But is not a. All right, goodbye. To the... okay. So we have two red hearts to spend. Oh, but we got an angel room because it's this guy, Seraphim Sworn Friend. Does he shoot? Yes, he shoots. He scores. All right, let's do this. Cube of meat. Not in love with it. So I think we're gonna head down to our next floor. Our little character is actually looking pretty cool right now. So Seraphim's now awesome. Dead Bird's gonna be awesome. Daddy Longlegs is gonna be great. Oh, we're setting ourselves up for a good run. Now I just need to not, you know, ruin it. Okay, secrets. Would we buy bombs to get into them? We're also out of um, Red Heart protection. The hangar isn't bad. It's a tears upgrade. Let's see what we've got in our item rooms first. Damage and range. Excellent. And damage. Excellent. Both excellent. Um, give me this and this. So the only thing I could think of that the lipstick would really help us with is the mom transformation. And the mom transformation isn't nothing, but it isn't... It isn't that much either. <laughs> um, like, it, it's not that important that we get it. And our range is pretty good. Like, we've already gotten... We've already gotten range upgrades. We've gotten the pearls. Um... Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we need to get rid of these guys because I hate them. There we go, good. Okay, great, you guys. Well, it was nice that those two were, like, right on top of each other. Daddy Longlegs took care of both of them. Unfortunately, there, Daddy Longlegs missed, but hey. Seraphim's helping out. He shoots a lot. Okay. Uh, we got Dead Bird, of course. So we only took one hit there, so we're gonna keep going. Just in general. 
So I, what I don't like is that Daddy Longlegs attacks the thing he's most likely to be able to kill. So he will not attack a boss if there is another enemy on the floor with lower damage or with lower health. Um, and most obvious enemies have less health than the bosses. Um, and so that's kind of unfortunate. Okay then, thanks for that. Difficult to know where to dodge that, unfortunately. Okay. Did we even have anything else in our shop that we would want? Oh god. Well now we have even more damage. Oh god, get off the creep. Okay. Where is he? He's over there. Something amazing. I will take it. It's good enough. Um, I'll take the half heart. Maybe not in our best interest because we'll lose Horror of Babylon, but that's, you know, I'm okay with that. We're actually going to move on again. We're spending most of our money at the beginning of floors, which is unusual. But I'm liking how it's working out for us. Alright, we're in the womb. So since we're already out of Horror of Babylon, we might as well take all the HP we can get. Um, a three cent key is amazing, and that's why I haven't been buying keys on the floors above. It's just in case... No. I do not want chocolate milk. This is great. So many hearts. Okay. That might be the right play. But you know what? I'm going to let myself see... Like, we're unlikely to get deals with the devil at this point. Because we've been dealing with the angel for so long... Okay, just uh, get rid of everything that we can. Don't do that. Well, we got Bird out. Bird is good. Bird is helpful. Womb is my least favorite of the, the floors in greed mode. I dislike it very much. What even hit me? Did I walk on some creep? Probably. And I keep doing it too, which is great. I love walking on creep repeatedly. It's my favorite pastime. Oh gosh. Okay, good. They're only coming from one side. I was like, please don't be coming from both sides. Just, just please. Okay. Uh, I thought Daddy Longlegs was an enemy and I got real scared there for a second because that would have been terrifying. Okay, just got to get rid of these little diddly-doos. Okay. Let's just go again. So this isn't so bad. We did we dealt with that very quickly. Whoops. I didn't mean to have that problem, but I kind of did have it anyway. Go Daddy Longlegs. Oh, Daddy Longlegs missed. I am 99% sure he missed. Okay. So he can only shoot lasers to the side, so if we're not there, then he can't hit us with his laser. Which is why I'm trying very hard to stay out of that configuration with him. And dead. And dealing with the devil? Question mark. What? This isn't fair. I don't. I don't like this. This does not seem fair. Kill one. Thank you. Now kill a second one. Dead bird is helping. Like four, what are these? The cage? A different version of the cage because they're pink? Okay, well that was bad. I had so many spirit hearts that I've squandered on this. <sighs> oh, and we actually got to deal with the devil. Oh, spectral tears! Remember how I asked for them? We'll take it. Great. I'm gonna play with pills. Could have gone way worse. I'm okay with that. So, 
I am going to take HP up. I am going to take Synth Oil. And I think that's it. So we're no longer looking really cool. We're kind of looking kind of disturbing. A little disturbing, but it's okay. Uh, magic Scab, not bad. Might be worth it. PhD, probably not worth it. I don't know if that's milk or soy milk, and I'm not taking... I'm not taking that chance. Okay, just uh, get rid of you. I actually do prefer shoal... What even hit me? I prefer shoal to the womb. Most people, I, I imagine, are probably the opposite. They find the womb easier. Because, I mean, it does come first. But, um, I, I prefer shoal. I think it's easier. Okay. Kind of got screwed over there. Okay, there you are. Okay, just, uh... Of course, we're being attacked from both sides. I have no place of respite. Oh, Jesus. Yes, walk into the fires and kill yourselves. It's excellent for me. All of our spirit hearts are gone. All of them. Okay, I'm not even sure what hit us a couple of times there. I'm really not. But we got a little horn somewhere right there. Alright, let's kill him. He walked into a fire. I think he did that a couple of times. That guy also walked into a fire. Excellent. Okay. We got stuck there, but it didn't actually end up hurting us, which was very, very, very lucky. Okay. Let's deal with the devil. We actually also have a second life. We should not forget that. Not that we should aim to need it, but... We shouldn't forget it. That we have... Okay, there you are. Okay, these lights from above, they're terrifying. Please stop. Alrighty. I kind of want both of them, but I... Oh, no, I can't take both of them. So do I want flies... Or do we want a couple black hearts? Yeah, we have BFF, so I'm actually going to play Rotten Baby. I know you may not agree. Then we're going to buy Magic Scab to get our HP back. And then we're going to head down to the next floor. Oh, God. Well, that was dumb. Problem with Shoal. Black floor, black spiders. Kind of hard to see the spiders. All right, we're on the shop. We're going to get rid of the fires. Why? Because I'm dumb and walk into them. Um, no other reason than that. So we have uh, emergency contact. We have a, an extra life. We have a key we don't need. We're going to reroll these things. Chaos. It's not worth it at this point. Champion belt? Thank you. Now, hive mind could also be good. Why? Giant spiders and flies. We've got rotten baby. So there we go. I think we have no money now, but I think we have uh, given ourselves a good amount of protection. We can get some money from this floor to donate at the end. Um, but, you know, I'm more interested in surviving than I am in donating money at the end right now. In the future, it may be different, but... But I think we, we made the right plays there. Are we continuing to make the right play? I mean, we keep taking damage, so... No. Oh, God. So all of our spirit hearts are gone. And we're hemorrhaging money because these are greed-based things. Oh, 
What's nice is these guys only have short ranged attack. So let's fight more of those. I enjoy that. So as we stand right now, I don't know how we're going to beat Greed because we have no health. Great. Double bloat. And we're down to having our curse. Well, I mean, oh great. Nope. Oh, that's right. We have another life. Granted, it's only spirit hearts. I think we're now Blue Baby and not e Eve. Like, screw this. We're going maximum survivability. Why? Because we're dealing with double blow, and double blow's awful. There are four eyeballs. Four of them. Great. Stop doing that. I saw something. Oh. We had to deal with a whole lot there. Alright, bye everybody. Slash everything. Now we'd have to give up a lot of these spirit hearts for a deal with the devil, so it might be in our best interest to just leave. Not that I think we have a good chance, because I don't. But yeah, we're blue baby now. We're not Eve. So if we actually manage to win this, um, which I don't think we will because I just took more damage... It's, it's gonna be a win as Blue Baby and not a win as, uh... Not a win as Eve. I wonder, do those explosions hurt him? Like, can they hurt him? I don't know. I, I wanna know. Okay, Bird is, like, tracking down all number of things that are, are not him. Just keep destroying anything he ever spawns as soon as he spawns it. It's a pretty good thing, because then maybe we can keep him in, like, that stage. Oh, God. Okay, uh, keys we don't want. Drat. Keys we unfortunately got. Okay, well we didn't take any damage because we got to let the keys get through. Oh god, not more keys. Okay. Well, they're opening every door. Make some space for ourselves here. Okay, kill that guy. Okay, make some space for me. From the bombs. Oh god. Okay, make space for me from the bombs. Oh my god. Guys. Guys, what's happening? Okay, make space for me from the bombs. Ah! Guys. We won. Cracked ice has appeared in the basement. We never have a lot to donate here, but... Oh, we unlocked special hanging keepers at 14. Got two unlocks there. So we have a surprise win as, uh, as Blue Baby. <laughs> We've seen that before. But, like, if we go here, look. Uh, where is he? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Where is he? There. Yeah, we, we beat Greed Mode with him. We, we weren't trying to, but we did it anyway. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.